It's a foggy Sunday morning in Waipa, but English setter Bella and her handler Tash get no time off this weekend. Bella is starting her day at Sanctuary Mountain Mangatauteri, which is by far the largest pest-proof fence project in the world, with the fence measuring an enormous 47 kilometres, which is longer than running a marathon. So our job today is trying to catch as many North Island brown kiwi as we can out of the southern enclosure. And this is Bella. Bella is a conservation dog and we're going to use her nose to try and find as many kiwi as we can. They wear a special uniform which is a high buzz jacket and their muzzle. Even though conservation dogs and their handlers go through an extensive training and assessment process to become certified, conservation dogs always wear muzzles when working in the presence of protected species. Hey Tash, how are you going? Good. Hi Bella. Did you know, you've got an amazing project happening this week. Yeah, this is a big project for us at Sanctuary Mountain Mangatauteri. We have in the southern enclosure here, it's around 65 hectares. We have a number of kiwi in here, and quite a few of those kiwi were gifted to us originally from Waimarino Forest. So we have 30 young birds that we want to send back to Waimarino Forest, and uh, so far we've sent back 17, so we've still got 13 more to send. OK, well, looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Bella. Let's go. OK, see you later. It's Tash and Bella's job to find the remaining 13 kiwi. Bella is an English setter, which is an old breed of bird dog. I chose her out of a litter of eight pups. She was the first pup to get out of the whelping box, and so she's very smart and very fit and agile, and she's got a good nose. Bella is in training. This is her first season of working on kiwi. Kiwi breed for six months of the year, so you can't handle them at that time. So she hasn't had a huge number of encounters. So hoping for a few encounters today. Yes, thank you. So we're just going to start her working now. Bella away. Yes, good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good work. The North Island brown kiwi is one of our most common kiwi species. However, where the population is not managed, it's steadily declining by 2-3% to a year. Without ongoing support from recovery programs like Kiwis for Kiwi, Save Our Iconic Kiwi and the Conservation Dogs program supported by Kiwi Bank, the decline would be irreversible. Bella's nose is much more sensitive than ours, and when she hones in on one area, Tash knows it's time to take over the search. Bella has found a male North Island brown kiwi. All conservation dog handlers are trained to handle kiwi during health checks and transmit a placement. Tape is used as best practice to secure the kiwi's legs to stop the bird harming itself. So we're just fitting him with a transmitter, which is a little tracking device. So it means that we can keep tabs of where he is. So we're just going to pop him back in the hole that he came from. And um, because he's wearing the tracking device, we're going to be able to find him again much easier next time. Time for Bella and Tash to have a break for the evening while the Kiwi will be just about ready to start their day. Tash and Bella have had a good night's sleep and this morning they're joining a search led by Mangatauteri staff who are using telemetry to search for a different Kiwi who they think is ready for release. The special antenna picks up a signal from the Kiwi's transmitter and helps the crew find the area where the Kiwi's sleeping. Bella's nose is much more finely tuned and she can direct the team to the exact location of the kiwi. Before being relocated from Mangatauteri, every kiwi needs to be screened for potential diseases, so this kiwi will have blood and feather samples taken to be checked in the lab. We've just got a little bit of blood here from a kiwi that we just caught and I'm going to make some blood smears so that we can have a look at her blood cells, make sure she's nice and healthy. Also here I have a cloacal swab to make sure that she doesn't have any bacterial diseases like salmonella. These samples will now get sent off to the lab and we should get the results by tomorrow. Even though Bella's really highly trained, she still wears a muzzle as a precautionary measure. In Northland, kiwi can live up to 50 or 60 years, they're a really long-lived bird, but due to dogs, more well, largely due to dogs, they're only living 13 years. It's really important for all dog owners to do their part, to keep dogs under control day and night and not take them into kiwi areas. It's really great to work with kiwi, um, they're such iconic species. It's also great to work with so many dedicated people working with conservation. And of course, getting to work with Bella is one of the highlights of the job. 